how you can use the Elmo wireless tablet without a computer using the L12. So let's start by putting my tablet under my camera. So as you can see here, on the back side of the tablet, we have the tablet pen, we have the dangle, and finally we have the battery that is inserted in here. So I will start by inserting my dangle on the document camera, just inserted this USB here, and I turn my tablet and switch it on. As soon as my tablet is on, as you can see, an icons appear on the screen and these show us that the tablet is running properly. So we have on the tablet itself, you can see all of these icons here are the modes that the, the tablet, the wireless tablet has. So the first one is what we call the document camera mode and it is the mode we're on now. So let's see all the factions that the document camera mode offers to us. So I will just put my book under the camera and don't forget when you want to handle your uh, tablet the right way to do so is to handle it this way. This will help you add annotations easily and control your, uh, your tablet better. So, let's see the basic functions of the mode, uh, document camera mode. So, we have these two icons in here and these two helps us add annotations on the text you can change the color so for example was it's the verb to be for example in the past or you can add whatever uh, annotation you want so if you want to delete part of the text I just press make a little pressure on this part of my pen and this would enable me to delete a part of my annotations. If I want to clear the screen, then I just come in here and click, and as you can see, all of my um, data or all of my annotations are gone. The other um, function is the camera, or the other icon is a camera. And this enables me to save my work and probably even capture a picture with my annotations. So here, for example, add annotations, press it, and as you could see, there is an icon of the camera and this shows us that the, the image was captured. The image captured is saved on the SD card that is inserted just in here. So the next one is a recording, and this is for video recording. So I'll just start by uh, clearing the screen. And as soon as the uh, video recorded icon appears, this means that the video is being recorded. So here I'm recording the video, including the sound of course. And to stop the recording, just click again on the icon. At the bottom here, if we click on this um, icon, we can see some other functions, and these are the zoom in and zoom out function. So I can zoom in my text. Don't forget the orange one, which is the autofocus button zoom out and click on the autofocus button and here is to brighten and darken 
the image. And finally, we have these other functions that the first one enables us to highlight a part of the text that we want to focus on. And using my tablet and the pen, I can just control it and move around the page. Exit. Go to the next one, which is the mask function. And it helps you mask the text that you can use probably if you want to mask or hide the answers and or probably just follow and read together with the students. And the final one is the scroll button that zooms and enables you to move around the text. So this was all about the first mode of my, uh, my tablet, that is the document camera mode. So let's see what's the next mode. So I just make a pressure on it like this with my pen. And here you can see that the background has changed. This is what we call the uh, whiteboard mode. Why we call it the whiteboard mode? Because you can use it as a whiteboard where you can add your annotations, you can add your comments and explanations, and that you can save by capturing the image, as you can see, and you can probably share your comments with your students, send them uh, like the comments or the explanations by email, or just keep it in your on your SD card to use for another class. The next one is the import mode, which is the third mode in here. So the import mode basically enables you to have access to all of your data that you've saved and that all your data that you have on your SD card. So if you press, make a little pressure in here, as you can see, I have all of my saved data at work. So as you can see here at the bottom, we have an icon of a video camera. And this shows us that what we, we have all on here are images. If you want to have access to the videos, the recorded videos, then you just press it and you can open the last um, video that we took together. Of course, all of these data are saved on your SD card that you can use later on and you can share with your students or with your uh, colleagues. So, the next mode that we can see in here is what we call teacher creation mode. We cannot use this mode for now because we're not connected to the computer. Because this mode has to uh, have a computer so that we can import documents and create uh, teaching material. So for now, we're not going to use it. If you want to know how we can use it, please view uh, the other video of the, um, use, the use of the wireless tablet with a computer. And finally, we have the um, setting and the exit. So that was the video about the... Um, document the use of the document camera and the wireless tablet without a computer. Thank you.